What's up guys, Inigami here, and we've got some very important One Piece Trailer Cruise news to go over. On the global version of One Piece Trailer Cruise, we are getting the Impel Down Bon Clay Mr. 2 mission is going to be coming out. It is the Baroque Works, also island, depends on what you want to call it. The Prisoner Bon Clay Island, the mission is going to be deal as much damage as you can in a single turn. So, teens that really like those gear threes or railies or something else that attacks with a very very strong attack on the high end so that way you can try to burst down a large burst in a single turn the final stage is probably the one that we're going to be bursting on because he does have multiple units on his final stage so there's nothing wrong with doing it right there anyways i will have a guide once it comes out so check out and we'll try to make a team that's easy enough for free to play players to use but on the japanese version of one piece trailer cruise that's where all the fun things are happening now, the Japanese version of One Piece Trailer Cruise, the first important thing we gotta go over right here is that, yes, Strong World characters and Long Luffy is being removed. They are removing Long Luffy and Strong World characters from the Japanese Rare Recruits. So all these are all the Strong World related units, and this one is Long Luffy. Now, it doesn't mean that they're removing characters from your box. If you have any of these Long characters like I do, if you have Long Luffy like I don't, you just cannot pull them on the Rare Recruit. Now, it does say that they will be replacing these units. It is going to happen on the 14th. They are... Yes, it's not out. It's not having that on the 14th. They're gonna be removing. They are removing it from rare recruit. But you shouldn't be doing Sugo Fest pulls. Any, you should be doing rare recruit anyways, because you only do pulls during Sugo Fest. Because you are a smart person, right? They are. They don't know, or they haven't told us why they're removing it or why they're replacing it. The first thing that people jump to are, oh my god, it's copyright issues. Oh, copyright issues. There's gotta be copyright issues. Let me say something. Copyright issues are something that a lot of people jump to. And I will say it's probably because of the rise of content creators on YouTube, the where's of fair use and all the other, a lot of people are pushing like all these big bad corporations doing these copyright takedown strikes and stuff and oh man, copyright issues. That's something that people hear a lot of and therefore they like to repeat it because they, they know of, hmm, well I know copyright is something that happens sometimes. Therefore, that must be why things are getting removed. I'll say this, it is 99% chance not a copyright issue, because if it were a copyright issue, then they wouldn't be in the game at all. You wouldn't be able to keep the characters, they, the artwork and all that would have to be removed completely. They, it's not what's happening, they're just removing it from the rare recruit pool. That's So it's 99% chance it's not a copyright issue, so let's just get that straight, okay? It could be a licensing issue. Maybe it's a licensing issue with the artwork, and that is, that so far is the best theory that I've heard so far, and really it's the one that I've talked to a couple people close to me and bounce ideas off of them as to why it might be removed. And a lot, it could be a licensing issue with the artwork. Maybe they in, originally intended for the Stronghold characters to be a timed release with the movie and therefore license the artwork for a year. Maybe the Log Luffy character was also licensed for an X amount of time. Maybe Log Luffy, and once again, I want to remind you that One Piece Trevor Cruise is a very, very... I mean, One Piece is a very, very large... Oh, there's a lot of money to be had in One Piece, and... Of course, they're going to be holding their intellectual property very close to them. And so they, they license out different things for different amounts. And it could be that Log Luffy just costs more to license than Namco Bandai wants to pay. And they'll make a, another version of Luffy that they don't have to pay extra for, for the Log Luffy rights or something like that. So as to why it's being removed, we don't know. But most likely, it's going to be just because of some legalese mumbo jumbo that is really really long and stupid something that's slightly off topic but still kind of related because this is the closest thing that i follow in comparison is the lawsuit between wizards of the coast the people who make magic the gathering and cryptozoic the people who have developed a online trading card game called hex tcg and it's wizards of the coast basically saying that they are cop they have copyright issues 
with Hex TCG's way that they have done their designed their game and some of the things that they've changed are really even as small as changing the name of a card from murder to kill and they use that to help settle out of court so it I mean, who knows it might be something in legal with a legal issue with another group that they're just like hey you know this artwork we already are using for the books or dvd sales so we don't want you to use that character artwork anymore who knows maybe it's that they only paid for it to use the artwork for a year and they're like well the way that the 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 license was written we can't sell the character anymore but we can still allow people to have the character it's it's weird it's strange it doesn't happen very often so who knows why they're getting removed but it does say they're getting replaced somehow how exactly they're getting replaced we don't know yet we'll have to see in the future so now that huge fun bit is gone we're also getting the this is with more stuff that people that also throws a spanner in the works for people who like to shout and and claim copyright issues is that we're getting the shiki fortnite island characters these are characters with the shiki shiki which is oh man i completely blanked on the name of shiki's movie but these are with uh evolve with shiki and shiki is also spoiled on twitter which we'll go co cover in just a second that will be coming from the 14th to the 28th. And on this Perona news, Perona is just on the banner. I don't know why Perona is on a banner, but she is. I mean, it's kind of summary, I guess, or something like that. We're getting two times super success. Dr. Indigo and Scarlet. Thanks, Blazing Gamer. We're getting two times skill ups, not super success. Skill ups. Double skill up event is coming to the Japanese version of One Piece. Oh, Strong World. Duh. Thanks, guys. I, I just completely brain farted on the name Strong World. We're getting the two times skill up event. So this is going to be increased skill ups on Japan compared to the already increased skill up on Japan, which is a baseline increase. So we'll see how well we do. So far, it's about one in five that a lot of people are reporting they're getting skills about one in five skill ups now. So maybe we'll get even better. Maybe it's going to average around one in three skill ups. Who knows? It's just going to be better than it was before. And that's always a good thing. Fewer characters to farm, right? If you're skill books to farm, this is gonna be double drop rate on story mode islands. I would like to remind you that on the oh, actually, yeah, on here we go. On the Japanese version, the double, double experience, double drop rates, half stamina, they only last for 12 hours. They're not 24 hours like the global version is. So on the Japanese version, they only get two times drop rates from noon to midnight. From midnight to noon, there's nothing there. It's just regular islands. We're also getting two times super success back again on the 21st to the 28th. It is currently two times super success on Japan. It's just going to be coming back again. Straw Hat Island is going to be coming back too. This is the five stamina island that guarantees you two straw hats. Remember that you can reset it if you're looking for a certain straw hat. So on the Japanese version, if you accidentally sold, for example, or maybe you accidentally evolved your Golden Pound Usopp to Soga King, then you can just quit the island and come back in after you see which two you get before you finish the island so you go through the first straw hat you get to the final boss straw hat if you don't see an Usopp there you can just quit exit the island and come back in not not just exit the game like closing it like this but actually going to the options in the game and quit and say would you like to surrender the island yes you would you'll lose out the five stand but that will let you guarantee that you get the Usopp or whoever you're looking for Remember, it's going to be around for four days, so if you don't get it on the first day, you've always got other days to get your characters. Otherwise, they're good for sockets. There is double drop rate on if, on evolution unit islands. So, penguins, seahorses, dragons, all that, they will be double drop rates from the 21st to the 26th. Choose your own turtle times, and Cotton Candy Island coming once again. And, better than in Mushis. We're getting pig... Uh, Increased rates of pigs, then increased rates of cola, then increased rate of stamina refills on all the Denimushis. And then this is all old news. And that's it as far as in-game news goes. We do have some out-of-game news. So this is something, uh, here is the Shiki Raid. And I can just hit Google Translate, yes please. Blah 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 blah, new Shiki character. And it's gonna be on some kind of special island. And this pretty much 
confirms that Shiki is going to be a raid boss. Uh, as far as what difficulty raid bosses he's going to be, we don't know yet. I'm willing to bet he's probably going to be a at least 40-60 raid boss, though. And here's something I also want to bring up. And this is something small, but you know, maybe, maybe it's noticeable. So you'll notice here, this, if you're not familiar with this Google Drive folder, this is the art ripped folder that I have a tutorial on how to rip artwork. That's rip R-I-P artwork. Directly from game files and rip sprites from directly from game files. Uh, I'll in a second. Oh, let me just open up a new tab here. Oops. Oh well. I guess I'll have to go back to it. So here we've got artwork for all sorts of things in game files. We've got banners that we've ripped from game files. We've got even sprites for skills. So you'll see Nami skills. Mmm, look at that Nami. Look at that. Look at that. You guys want to see what Nami looks like underneath her towel? There you go. Ooh, man. Towel Nami without her towel. Sexy, right? And all sorts of other little pieces of sprite work and artwork. So if you are an aspiring artist and you want to have, or you have something creative you want to do but you can't draw, we got all sorts of sprite work already ripped in there. But in these, all these character underscore number 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 number, all those characters, these numbers are the numbers that they that Bandai Namco have designated to these characters whenever they get the artwork for it. So the artworks. Most likely, what comes before the Pokedex entries. You'll notice that the numbers here are do not line up with the Pokedex entry numbers. They are often off by just a few and often off by a fairly large number. But what's interesting is the Dead Island or Dead End Adventure Island characters are 822 to 826. They actually have been in the game files, or at least Bandai Namco has had the artwork for these characters since after the Coliseum release with Smoker, Uluji, and Kobe, and before the Halloween Straw Hats. So this is all the way back in October. This is the first time the Halloween Straw Hats came out, and that is way, way back in October of 2015. So since at least early to mid-October, they've had these characters out, or maybe, even, or maybe later, but definitely at least earlier than that. Dead End Island characters have existed in game in game files, or at least their artwork has since then, and they just haven't been out yet. Now, the way that we actually get these files is we go through the game files that are temporarily loaded into our phones, or in this case, our emulators. So we go browse those temporary files, and that's how we rip the sprites out. So once we actually see the game, see these characters, that's the only time we can actually get them. So if their character is missing, we can't go through files and enter in numbers to try to get information that's not there. But this at least shows that Bandai does often have characters that they'll just sit on the artwork on for a really long time. And, you know, this is more, more stuff that you guys can theory craft about why log characters are being removed, why stronghold characters are being removed. Because, you know, maybe Dead End Island Adventure, or Dead End Adventure characters have been around for so long, and only now, this is being in June, that their island actually comes out. So, you know, who, who knows why Stronghold characters are being removed, who knows why Log Belief is being removed, but they do say we're going to be getting replacements soon. Guys, thank you so much for watching, I we've been getting a lot of questions about why are Log characters being removed, what's going on, Bandai hates us. No, they don't hate you. But I always love you, and I like to remind you to stay beautiful. But before that, I want to give an extra special thanks to our Patreon subscribers, Carlos Baron and Super Crazy Apple. An extra special thanks to all the Twitch subscribers and everyone here watching with us live on Twitch. And thank you so much to you guys for sharing our videos on YouTube. I'm Zinigami. Y'all stay beautiful.